Hello friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the Audiophiliac and today's show is a different kind of show. It's more of a news show than a reviews or thought piece or anything like that. No, it's about two pieces of news from shit. S-C-H-I-I-T. But the first piece of news is that shit, which was founded in 2010, shit is going to change their name. And the second bit of news is that SHIT has a new product that I would have never imagined that SHIT would make this product. It's just so off the charts. It's just so not what they do or what they're known for. So that's really cool. But as for the name change itself, I'll just get right to it. The company formerly known as SHIT will now be known as just S, the letter S which is a particularly good move because their logo, which always looked like this, can stay just like that. Just the letter, a stylized S. So yeah, like I said, I go, I go way back. I go back to the launch of the startup shit at, I'm pretty sure it was Rocky Mountain Audio Fest in 2010. And they were, shit was, the talk of the show. Because everyone was walking around saying, did you hear about that shit? What crazy idea to, to call a company shit. That's a terrible name. Why would anybody buy a product named shit? And then all the puns and jokes. Oh, it it's, uh, sounds like shit. It's the best shit. It's awesome shit. It's hot shit. All that stuff that I admit to have used many, many times over the, these years since 2010 when I started reviewing shit. So yeah, I've had my fun. And so has shit. But I think, you know, they've grown up and they said, essentially, enough is enough. We're just going to, yeah, because they've been getting, oh, I've been getting uh, in the comments for my reviews, people saying, it's a terrible name. I would never, yeah, and all that stuff, people complaining in the comments. And I'm sure the people at shit have had way more complaints about it. And they thought, okay, 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 we're going to, we're just, we're going to be adults now. <laughs> and we're just going to call our company the S Company. So let's see how that flies, you know? I mean, it makes a difference. It's about, the, it's about the products they make, the quality of their products, the innovation in their products. All of that's still the same. So I'm sure they will do fine <laughs> with their new simplified one letter name, the S Company. Now for part two of today's show, which is even more extraordinary than just changing the name, ultimately, what does that mean? But the product that they're doing is a surround sound processor. Yeah, wow. Oh, well, it's not just a processor. It's also a DAC. It's also a preamp. It's also a headphone amp. But it's the surround sound processor, unlike any other. First of all, it doesn't have Dolby, doesn't have DTS, doesn't have Atmos, doesn't have any of those things. No Dirac, no, none of that stuff. No, it, what it is is it's a two-channel stereo, two-channel to multi-channel converter. That's it. So in other words, you hook it up. Let's look at the back panel. And by the way, this isn't, this isn't a review. This is more like just a product announcement. So let's look at the back panel and you'll see the inputs. The inputs are an optical input, Toslink optical input, USB, and also stereo left and right analog inputs, two stereo RCA analog inputs. And as for the outputs, all RCA there's stereo left and right, center channel, left and right surround, and also a subwoofer output. That's pretty cool. You could hook it up to a TV or a tablet or, or a stereo system. Forget about movies and stuff. You could just play all of your two-channel music, your LPs, CDs, streaming, whatever. You could play those in surround with the SYN, oh, that's the name of it, did I say? The name of the product is the SYN, S-Y-N. It sells for $399. I, I think there's a market for something like this because I, I know that in my uh, home theater reviewing days that a lot of people just played their two-channel music in all-channel stereo. That was, that's a popular way of listening to music for people that have AV receivers. And I think that that makes sense for people that are into pretty much two channel audio that they would want to hear it filling the room more. So having left, center, right, and surround channels and subwoofer. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I, 
you know, it's not something that I would do. I admit I'm a pretty hardcore two-channel stereo guy. I don't particularly like mono. I'm not a big fan of surround sound. But I understand there is definitely a market for it. And by the way, when you listen to the SYN processor strictly in two-channel, it remains 100% analog and fully discreet. So I, I applaud uh, SHIT or S for bringing this out. It'll be interesting to see the, the market acceptance of something like this. I, I think it has a good chance. I do because it's the right price. It's not expensive. And, you know, it's, it reminds me in a way of when they brought out their first uh, equalizer, which was a category that most high-end companies and audiophile-oriented companies completely ignored, making equalizers. And they brought out that first little one, the Loki, and it was a smash hit. I mean, so many people bought them that I know personally that say this is one of the best things I've ever gotten because you can just tweak the sound of your system to your heart's delight. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people who buy the SYN surround processor will be probably using it with the Loki so they can tweak and tweak and tweak and adjust the sound to their liking. So my hat's off to the people at, well, S or shit or whatever it is. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. This is just an April Fool's. Well, the name change from shit to S, that's the April Fool's. That's just me having some fun on April Fool's Day. But the SYN surround processor is very much a real product from shit, right? That's a real product. It's shipping now. And as I said earlier, this isn't a review. This is just a product announcement from me. Luckily, it tied in with my idea of making this April Fool's about shit changing their name. But I assure you, just to be clear about this, shit is not changing their name. They are staying with that. Why change now? You know, when I do uh, viewer systems of the day, it's amazing how much shit people have out there. It's a hugely popular company for good reason. They make great stuff at very affordable prices. So more power to shit. Here's to the next 13 years of shit. Um, and that's it. So my name is Steve Guttenberg, and I am the Audiophiliac. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, doing April Fools, I've done for the last few years in April Fool. I'll link to some of them in the description below this video. Uh, but yeah, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon. It is the best way, the absolute best way to help support this channel. Uh, and, they, and Patreon accepts payment in dollars, pounds, and euros. Uh, and of course, if you just like a given episode, please hit the like button. And also, subscribe to the channel. I want to get, oh, I really, really, really do want to get to 250,000 subscribers by the end of of this year. That's it. That's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I really, really do hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.